Hi guys and welcome to my second editing video. I was looking through my old screenshots, my screenshots from when I used to own a wooden PC and I managed to find some screenshots and I decided to see if it was possible to make them better and I found a really good technique and a way of doing it and I thought I'd share it with you guys. So here we are in the folder and we are going to get from this very washed out screenshot <laughs> um, thing which I had on my old computer to this which is textured and you can actually see some texture on the guy's face. The place doesn't look so yellow and the shadows look like shadows. And the second picture is this one. There's just nothing going on here. There's, the wood texture can hardly be seen. The floor is just a mess of nothingness basically. And we're going to take it to this, which I feel is an improvement. So again, we're going to go to iPicky and we're going to load our photo. So the first thing, the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to use an effect, which I find extremely helpful for low quality screenshots. This effect is called HDR Advanced. And this is going to take a while to update. You just update the effect and it will initialize. And then you will see a percentage which will go up. And that's it working its magic on your image. We're going to do this with the second image while we wait. So same process, we go down to HDR advanced and update effect. And here we are, it has worked its magic. Now the clothes here still seem a little bit flat and lifeless, but I mean, there are areas that it just will not bring out textures in. And that's just, you know, that's just what we have to deal with when we have bad PCs. But it does do some amazing things, like these plants here, they look like plants, his beard is defined, his face has texture, but we still have this really washed out, you know, greeny yellow kind of look to the image that just looks like someone's been sick over everything. So let's, let's, let me t show you how to uh, change this. Right, so we are going to go onto the, we were on this uh, effects tab, we're going to go back to the main tab and we're going to scroll down until we get to color balance and obviously we have to change the balance around so we want i think we want more red and we want a slightly less green because the image is really sort of made up of greens we can see how much when we pull the slider up we're going to have quite a bit of blue in the image because this helps to bring out the shadows here we have less blue the shadows have this yellowish kind of tint to them. So obviously we're going to have quite a bit of blue. We can see that the colour has become more neutral in all places. We can see a bit of browny yellow here, but the green actually kind of looks green like it should do. So we're going to apply that and then we're going to go up to exposure. We're going to lift the contrast a little bit. So we have a feel that there is actually lighting going on in this image and there is shadows and things like that. One final thing that we're going to do to give the effect of the image being more textured is we're going to add noise. Now we don't want too much noise. So you can move this fader along. You could have, you can choose how much noise you want. I'm going to go with about 50 and I think that's pretty much it. So yes, so we started off from this image and in a few simple effects, we've gone from this to this. And that's simply what I wanted to show you with this image. And the same process for the next one. When it actually finishes rendering, it's the same process. So I'm not going to talk through this one. I'm just going to let the video play out. Just so you guys are aware, if you have these open in multiple tabs, I think you have to actually click the tab and let the rendering begin properly. And then you can switch back between tabs. That's probably why it took so long to render. Okay, so here we are, we can see that it's added texture a bit to the wood here. We, well, it's, it's a lot more, it looks a lot more like wood. And the trees look a lot, a little bit more fluffy. So let's apply. And I said I wouldn't talk through this one, so let's just, I'll just show you and use the same techniques and you can watch me do this. Actually, there is one thing that I want to do with this image and I have to tell you about this one. The sky is very, it has a very, a lot of noise in it and it's very noticeable. So we can't leave the sky like this. This bokeh tool can be used to create little bokeh effects in the sky, of course, but it can also be used if we put the size right up 
almost or not that high. So say about 50 in the 40s, you can see that it can also be used to brighten a dull or dark sky. And obviously if you put the creamy effect on and you use this fade, you can create this kind of light effect. So the grain looks less noticeable. But yes, let's go ahead and move the fade. There we go. That's it. So let's apply that and there's our image. So we have gone from this, which is dull, lifeless, not much wood textures. And obviously, yeah, the sky is quite bright. So we've actually just returned the sky to its original state. So yes, we've gone from this and we've gained texture in the trees and the ground a little bit and the wood looks a lot better. And there we go. That's the simple techniques that you can use to make your low graphics screenshots look better. I hope this has been useful and thank you for watching guys.